food fight for the Atari 7800, the game where you throw food at chefs in the quest to eat an ice cream. Yes, this is the game about to be re-released on the Atari 2600 Plus, but as I already have the game numerous times, I'm just going to take a look at the 7800 version as it has been re-released on the Atari VCS. This is the same version of the game, but in the interest of clarity, I won't be able to comment on how it runs on the Atari 2600 Plus or the original 7800 console. A few months ago, the Atari 2600 Plus launched, and it gave players a new way to play their original Atari 2600 cartridges. But that wasn't all, as the 2600 Plus will also allow you to play your original Atari 7800 games. But heck, a lot of the 2600 and 7800 carts are 30 plus years old. With this in mind, Atari have released a bunch of new cartridges to give players a chance to fill out or start their Atari cart collections. Whilst the first batch of games were all designed for the 2600, the latest bunch of releases are all ones that originally released for the Atari 7800. Of these games, the ones that I got most excited about was Food Fight, as it's probably my favourite Atari 7800 game. In the game, you play as Charlie, a generic Dennis the Menace American version looking kid who will start each level on the right side of the screen and you have to get to the left side of the screen to eat an ice cream. Sounds simple, right? Well, between you and your intended ice cream snack is an army of chefs who, for some reason that I've not quite ever figured out, don't want you to eat this ice cream. There are also pits that you can fall into that you'll have to dodge. To make matters worse, these chefs will throw food at you, and if they catch you, hit you with the food, or you fall into a pit, you lose a life. The good news is that you can also pick up any of the food items that are scattered about the levels to throw at the chefs too. The levels appear to be randomly generated, and if you restart a level after you lose a life, the location of the ice cream, the chefs and the objects in the stages may change. There are 125 levels in total, although the number doesn't really mean anything as, like I said, the levels are all basically the same and change when you play them through multiple times. The game does feel quite repetitive quite quickly, but reaching level 125 isn't the toughest thing ever, so with a little perseverance you can get through to the end before you get fed up. Some levels are easy as apple pie to beat because good fortune means that the chef's location or or the pits just are in the right place or maybe even the ice cream is just straight in front of you and you can make a beeline to it but then other times the levels will be a thrilling chase as you dodge in and out of where the chefs and pits are Having played this across a few releases, including on the Atari 50th Anniversary Collection, which is the computer version, and the Evercade Atari Collection 1 and Atari Game Station Pro, both of which are the Atari 7800 version, I'll be honest that even though this Atari VCS release is the 7800 game, it isn't as well presented as these other versions. The graphics look slightly fuzzy and blurry and are not the sharp, pixel-perfect look as in other releases. Also, on the Atari VCS, you can press the home button and it actually brings up the menu for the MAME emulator, which I was very surprised to see accessible, even if they had used it. It does let you tinker with the graphics slightly, but after a few minutes of rotating the screen and messing up the colour, I gave up toying with this MAME menu. Now, the Atari 2600 Plus games have regularly seen sales on the UK Amazon store, so whilst I have held off getting a new cart for the 2600 Plus for now, I imagine that I'll get the actual cart to add to my collection sooner rather than later, as soon as it's on sale. But for now, you can play this game on a bunch of different things. Like I said, you can get it as part of one of the Atari Evercade collections, 
games although they have now gone legacy so you may want to pick that up sooner rather than later if you want it on evercade you can also download it as i did here on the atari vcs and it plays just fine even if it isn't quite as sharp a graphics as i would have expected and you can also get it on things like the atari game station pro so that's going to wrap things up here on this video for food fight for the atari 7800 version make sure you smash that subscribe button if you want to see more also make sure you check out the food fight sequel that came out on the atari vcs and i had a video on this a few months back so if you haven't done so smash that subscribe button and do check out the written article version of all of my videos over at www.extreamed.tv forward slash gaming and with that until next time stay safe always stay extremed and ciao for now boom and i'm off the air